Then he hands it to the disciples and says, give it to them. See, a lot of people, they don't get what God has because they're looking for the wrong one to bring it. You better be careful who you write off your list of friends because the friend you write off might be the very one that God has to bless you in a time of greatest need. Here a while back, I was taking a long trip. Someone said, aren't you afraid to take that long trip by yourself and drive all that way by yourself? I said, absolutely not. And they said, why? I said, well, first of all, the Lord's with me. Yeah. And second of all, I haven't gone through life knocking people off my list of friends. And I said, there's not a place between here and there that I can't make a phone call within 15 minutes. There'll be somebody there to help me. Hey. You be careful who you write off your list in life. You be careful who you say when they leave the church. Thank God they're gone because that might be the greatest blessing your church ever had. Yeah. Oh, I'm preaching now. Yeah. You can stay in the Sometimes you should all remember each other. But the truth of the matter is, they may be the one that God's going to use to bless you all down in your life in a way that you never dreamed possible. And through that, He gives it to the disciples to pass out. I don't know who God's going to bring you what you need, but somebody there to distribute his blessing at just the right time. You may not be a preacher. You may not be a singer. But maybe God's made you the one that's able to pass the bread out to others and be a blessing to others and give them what they need. That's just as important as the message that we share. So he starts breaking. Here, you take it. Here, you take that section. Here, you take that. Now here's the amazing thing. I'm going to ask you something. Do you believe that Jesus knows everything? Amen. Yes. Amen. Do you believe Jesus knows everything? Yes. He knows how many is there. Yes, he does. Now the disciples know how many is there. They know how many people's there. They know how many fish they have. They know how many bar loaves they have. They know exactly the challenge before them. Jesus knowing everything, breaking it, breaking it. The miracle comes from the breaking. Yeah. They're passing it out and they're passing it out. Can I ask you a question? Don't you think that he knew when just enough had been distributed yeah. to look at them and say, you don't need any more, there's right. enough to feed everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But for some reason, he kept breaking yeah. Yeah. even after the blessing yeah. Yeah was met and the need was met. In other words, when it was all over, they gathered up well, a basket full of, the Bible says fragments. That's an important word. You need to cling to that word. Gathered up 12 baskets of fragments left over. In other words, he made sure there was an overflow. He made sure that there was more than enough. Not just to meet their need, but to meet their need until they were fully satisfied and there were leftovers. Oh, free long time to have a hallelujah. Why shouldn't we do that? preached that wrong. Didn't mean to. Others have probably preached it wrong. Not meaning to. I've heard everything's like, well, you, you know, there were 12 because each one of the disciples got a basket. I've heard it said, well, they gave it to the lamb. He took it home to live on. A. The key word there is fragments. They had eaten all they wanted. And then they gathered up everybody's leftovers. But I want you to hear what I'm about to say. I don't believe for one moment they were saving that to eat the next day. It was garbage. 
That's what fragments mean. <laughs> Broken meat. Fish don't keep long in hot climates. God's not concerned about giving you spoiled food tomorrow. Right. Every day. Yeah. Every day is fresh food from heaven. Amen. Hold on now. I'm still preaching. Don't quit yet. I'm not done. But stay there. No, no. I think we have in this text the meaning of all of it. Jesus told them right after, you get the ship, I'm going to the mountain to pray. And you go to the other side. So they're on the ship. Where's the twelve baskets? Well, he says, didn't you consider the miracle of the loaves? I think he put it on the boat. That's why when he stepped on the ship, the two don't seem to tie together until he steps on the ship and the baskets are there. The fragments, the scraps. Stay now, just stay with me. Just a couple more minutes. Think with me here, will you? In other words, they had enough leftovers on the boat that when that storm came, when they looked at the leftovers, it should have reminded them who they were serving and what he could do. Man. I guess what I'm asking you is, do you have any scraps on your ship? Do you have any leftovers in life? Has God ever done something? You know what Jesus is saying to them? He's saying, your present problem could have been solved if you would have looked at your past miracles. He's saying, I left enough from the day that everything you're battling right now, if you would have looked back and saw how I took care of you then, why would you doubt that I can take care of you now? The problem was you look at the darkness and the look at the danger and the fact that I was so far away and so distant and in reality, I left enough on your boat that all you had to do was just look at what's going on and what you should have done was told your present about your past and said if God If you ever, as a sinner, got in a fight, you know what I'm about to tell you is true. If you ever got in a fight, the last thing you wanted to do is fight somebody with experience. <laughs> because the more fights they have been in, they might not have won the fights in the past, but they learned something from every fight they're in. There's a reason why as kids growing up we used to call fighting scrapping. Because if you've been in enough fights, you take the scraps from all the fights in the past that work and use it in the present. Some of you right now need a miracle in your life and you're, you're whining around on where's God at and why is this happening and why is that happening. You know what your problem is? You haven't gone back to the experiences that you have. You're looking for something different now when the Lord is trying to tell you, I have already done enough in your life that you need to remind the devil who he's fighting. When the devil comes my way, I remind him, I've got a little bit of experience. The Lord has left enough experience. instant winner of a regular order of French fries. <laughs>
never mind you when I didn't have suits to wear. Somebody knocked on my door one time and their arms was laden down with brand new suits and they were crying. They said, Preacher, the Lord laid it on my heart to bring you these suits. You try them all and if they fit, uh, then you let me know. 